year athletic training student at the University of South Carolina. And during this video, I'll be demonstrating how to do a posterior lung oscillation. To perform this skill, you're going to need a stethoscope. You're going to make sure it's working, and you'll take the big side of the stethoscope and place it on the patient's skin. And place the earbuds facing forward in your ears. So you're going to put your stethoscope on. And for the purpose of this video, he's going to leave his shirt on, but you want to place the drum onto the patient's skin, and you're going to listen to them breathing in 10 different places. You're going to instruct the patient to take a deep breath in, and out, and then breath here, in, out, spot three, and four. Keep going until you get five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. A normal breath sound is going to consist of a soft, steady inspiration and a soft, light expiration. And you want to be listening for any wheezing, whistling, crackling, gurgling, or any sounds that sound abnormal, which can be indicative of an illness.